how do you write code without typing it? Well, Windows speech recognition can turn the words you say into text. It's not very good, I never said internal, but it can write code in the most painful way possible. Oh boy, is this gonna be fun. We've got this empty Unity project, and by the end of this video, there'll be an entire game made without touching the keyboard once. I imported some assets, made a basic level, added a player, and... I just used my keyboard. D delete. Player. Player. Press P. Press L. Press R. It seems that the game engine I'm using doesn't understand what words are. So I had to spell things out one letter at a time. Mm, okay, this is useless. I'll have to just try and use my mouse. Because I can use my mouse, just not the keyboard. I try to add physics to the player, but struggled adjusting the hitbox to be the right size. Because I can't type the numbers. Oh, this is so useless. No, what is this? What is this menu? Press zero. Press period. Press zero. Press one. There we go. Oh, yes. We've got a box that fits the player. Oh, look at this game. You can't do anything? Because I haven't added movement. And to add movement, since I'm not allowed to use the keyboard, I'll have to use voice input for that as well. Player, movement. Oh! Don't want the script to be called R-9. That is not what... That's not player. Uh, you literally can't name a file this because it breaks it. Speech recognition then decided to just not recognize speech. Are you going to type? Okay, sometimes it just doesn't decide to type, which means you have to close it, reopen it, and hope it works. Because I got it working sometimes. If. <laughs> Correct. It struggled with the first word of the first line of code. Open parentheses. Input. Press period. Get. Key. Oh no, I can't use the keyboard. No. Oh dear. To move the player, I can't just use WADs or arrow keys. However, I found a voice input method whilst researching this video. To find out how to actually use it, I had to Google it without typing. Eventually, I found the page. And if only I could press Control C, Control V and copy this code. Now, the thing with code is it needs to be exact with the correct spelling and capitalization. However, speech recognition does not care about that at all. It will also add spaces after every word which doesn't really help when you need it all to be a single word. Look at that squiggly red underline. That'll need a lot of correcting. We got one line, woo! This is gonna be a long day. The problem is it doesn't recognize like words as a single word, so I have to spend years correcting it. Yep, this is really fun. I am enjoying myself so much. Second line, woo! If you're wondering what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to make it respond to voice commands in the game. So if you say like jump, the player will jump. The problem is that requires a bit of code. In each thing of code, I need to type it very annoyingly. And there's a few commands you can do, but none of them really help with code. Regardless, I persisted and got a third line and a fourth which were really tiring, but at least the code editor knows what words are. Press J, press U, press M, press P. So when I get this working, you're gonna be able to jump, move left, move right, just by talking, which is gonna make a very, very fun platformer. The next couple lines were a little more tricky. Close curly bracket. Autocorrect did not help me here. Dead wrong. It took a while to correct it. Then I had to get it to write phrase recognized event args, which is a mouthful to say. Phrase rec the correct. Delete that. Delete. Delete all. Phrase. Correct. Phrase. You're a speech recognition program, surely you know what a phrase is? P H A R S E You <laughs> I might have spelt that one wrong. P H A? Yup, I really cannot spell, can I? Did fast. 
not phrase. I figured out how to actually spell, then kept copying the code I found on Google. Yes, I haven't even got to adding my own stuff yet. But what I've now copied will show a message every time you say a key phrase, like jump, left, or right, in the game console. I've been recording for 40 minutes now. Let's see if it works. <laughs> jump. Left. Right. Jump. Speech recognition in the game is working, but I haven't made it actually do anything yet. Let's make the player move. Yes, I can use the autocorrect. My enjoyment quickly plummeted after it wouldn't let me insert open curly parentheses. <laughs> oh, open brace. Open brace. Oh, it just doesn't work. Press open brace. I just got a single character. Now, I had to struggle to write the word case. It's pressing space instead of case. That was just one more case of speech recognition not properly recognizing speech. But I kept on coding while making YouTube thumbnail faces at my computer. John Force! Okay, so every time it hears the word jump, it will add force to the player to move it up. Now I'll be so surprised if this actually works. Jump. Jump. Huh. I tweaked a few numbers and tested it again. Jump. <laughs> yes. Jump. <laughs> okay, maybe they jump a little too high now. Jump. Yeah, okay, that should be good. <laughs> the controls are gonna be so bad. And I'm going to be making a platformer out of this. This is going to be so evil. So what we've got here is when we do left, we'll move one way. And if we do right, we'll move the other way. Jump. Left. Is that left? La left. Right. No, it's the wrong way around. <laughs> Fix that and tweak the numbers a bit. Right. Jump. Right. <laughs> okay, I've had enough talking for a bit now. I reckon it's time to build the level. Right. Right. This is not fun. Right. Right. You can't go up slopes. Yeah, okay, slopes are dumb. <laughs> I also need to make it so you can move quicker. Okay, so if you enter walk mode, you walk. If you enter run mode, you run really fast. My voice was getting quite tired. I had to speak quite loudly into the microphone for speech recognition to listen. Anyways, I made it so that when you say run, you move at double speed, and when you say dash, you move very far forward. And after a while of slow, annoying talking, my camera died. <laughs> so let's just jump to a re-recording of me playing the game. Right. Right. Yeah, so you just talk, and it moves, and you try and get to the house at the end. So, uh, let's dash. Ooh, that's a good dash. Dash. Yeah, so he moves you forward. And then jump. Dash. <laughs> you can't actually get out of this, I don't think. So we might need to edit a little bit of the stuff. Just, just give me a second. Jump. <laughs> Yep, that, that should be good enough. Jump. Right. Oh no, we got eaten by the enemy, which just doesn't work, because I couldn't be bothered to add any code to that, because that would be literally painful. Right. Dash. Yeah, we're getting so close. Dash. And we're at our house. We win. There's no windscreen because that would be effort too. This video was so annoying to make. If you want to see other challenges, see this video here.